Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to New Gameplay Today. I am Alex Stadnick, and I know what you're thinking. We've seen so many of these this week. Well, it's because we actually have good games to show off. Uh, I am joined by the king of late night, uh, John Carson in the building. Hello, sir. Hello, a full moon is rising, and uh, we're going to go diving into some castles. Yeah, what the heck are we playing today, John? Yeah, so this is uh, called Mina the Hollower. Um, it's a surprise uh, new announcement from Yaclub Games, the, the folks who gave us um, Shovel Knight and all of its various spinoffs and expansions. This is the Yacht Club Games team proper, as I uh, as I believe, um, who's, okay. who's working on this. This is a brand new IP, not connected to Shovel Knight at all. Uh, but as you notice with the footage here, you're still doing some digging. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So so Mina is a hollower. She's from uh, a guild uh, called the Hollowers that uh, their their whole deal is they, they dig underground and uh, kind of excavate things. Um, so you, you'll see Mina uh, traveling uh, through the dirt. Um, it's actually like a core mechanic for the game. Uh, you're diving underground, you're moving faster. Um, you're using it to dodge attacks, dodge uh, obstacles in the levels. Mm -hmm. um, and even like jump higher and faster. Um, there's there's a lot going on with the digging mechanic, but uh, mechanically, it's a lot like uh, early uh, The Legend of Zelda's. Um, it, it looks <laughs> it looks like a Game Boy Color game. That's kind of the, the aesthetic that, that they're going for. But it looks like it's a lost companion to uh, Link's Awakening DX. Like that yeah, was that's what I was kind of thinking. That was uh, that was my first Game Boy Game Boy game that I owned in Game Boy Color game. So really? um, I know it. I know it very well. Yeah. Uh, and they're they are nailing the 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 look entirely for that. Um, for sure. I want to ask you what we just saw on screen. You you hit oh. this machine, um, and then you a menu came up that says "bone up." Is that you leveling up? <laughs> that that is leveling up. Boning up is leveling up. Uh, that's where I, your your collectible in this game uh, are bones, okay. um, and you use bones for currency for purchasing items, which I believe we'll see in a little bit. Okay. Uh, but also you use it to level up uh, a few different stats, like your attack power, your defense. Uh, your sidearm power, uh, which yeah. is your Castlevania-like uh, secondary weapon. Right now, I have the uh, the the Volt Hatchet equipped, and that's it. it it's used just like uh, a Castlevania axe is. It has like an arc to it, um, mm -hmm. so you kind of have to uh, figure out how far away from an enemy you are. Like if it's if it's an airborne enemy, it works works better for those. Yeah, but it looks like it does some AOE too, which is it, nice. It does. So yeah, when it when it hits the ground, it does like a cross shaped electric attack. Um, and now, he, oh, oh sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say here we're we're seeing a, like a little hidden area that you can find through digging through the ground, uh, nice. which is which is super neat. Yeah. Now, I, I think it's because my brain has started to be become trained like through Hades, right? Where everything is there. A lot of things are roguelikes, right? But yes. is this is the when you level something up, is that permanent in this game from your experience? It is permanent. Cool. So this is I'd say uh, the the three games that this is most like uh, it's like Zelda. It's like Castlevania. Mm -hmm. And just like Hollow Knight, there are Dark Souls elements in here. So oh, uh, interesting. When, when you go to that under lab, uh, that, that place with, with uh, where all those bones were shooting out of that machine, that's mm -hmm. that's Mina's like hideaway. That's her sanctuary. That's where you recover health and items um, and uh, where your checkpoints are. So whenever you go into the, the under lab, all of the enemies in the areas around you will respawn. Hmm. Um, there's uh, a similar death mechanic in this uh, to what was in Shovel Knight, where if you die, uh, if you if you look at the the health bar, there's two little orbs there. If mm -hmm. you die, you'll lose an orb, and you'll have to go and reclaim it to get your bones back. Interesting. And uh, your bones are the currency, like you said, right? Right. The your currency, your XP, just like souls are in mm -hmm. uh, the Souls games. Oh, so wow. cool. Yeah. Um, okay. Difficulty so, wise, also, <laughs> I'd say it also shares from from something like the Souls games or early Castlevania games. It, this game's ruthless at times, and you'll you'll see it ruthless. in this part. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of platforming. Uh, there's a lot of enemies on screen at times that are hard to dodge, um, or different obstacles that are hard to dodge. 
I died quite a few times uh, playing yeah. through the demo. Um, and uh, if if you're looking for more Mina, we will be putting up a full playthrough um, of of the demo from start to finish. This you is kind of cut up, but you want to know the best part of that too, John? What, what's that? Not only do you get to see the final boss battle of it. You also don't get to hear us because it is fully no commentary. So <laughs> yeah. if you want to uh, see the full uncut playthrough of that, all all the that. great music, all the sound effects, um, you'll see some of this footage. We kind of made sure to uh, to splice in stuff from another playthrough, so uh, you'll you'll get uh, a fresh experience when you when you actually sure. see that full playthrough. So I noticed while you were hacking and slashing there, your, yeah. you know, your health was down, but in certain times you got it back. Is there a certain limit to that, though? So, yeah. So in the bottom left corner, one of those items there is your, uh, I, think, I think it's like a plasma charge or something. Okay. Uh, it will recover your yellow health. So your yellow health is recoverable. It's like your Estus flask. If we're if we're going for another <laughs> yeah. Souls reference here. Right. Yeah. Uh, the, that is your health recovery mechanic. Okay. Uh, so you'll have that. You have your your whip as your main weapon, and then you have different sub weapons uh, like the the hatchet there, and then there's the the dagger, which is a, a straight shot forward, but it also boomerangs back to you. Oh, interesting. Okay. So, are those uh, are they holding back? Is Yacht Club? Is there going to be more uh, weapons that they reveal as as time goes on? Oh, I, or... oh I'm sure. Um, okay. So there's there's those sidearms but there's also uh trinkets which are things that'll modify your uh attack stats your defense uh, how many um how much health that you have mm -hmm. uh and there's there's 10 of those in the demo that give you four to start out with you can only carry two at a time and i'm not sure how many you like if there's ways to modify that there's nothing in the demo to modify that okay um but there's i think they said like 40 or 60 of those uh, that they're planning for the final game. So, oh, wow. Yeah, okay. there's going to be a ton. <laughs> cool. I'd love to hear it. So you talked about earlier, and actually, I'll save that question for what's coming up here because we, sure. do, we do show off the... We're not putting John on blast, I promise, <laughs> but we are showing off like the death mechanic, I yeah. think, uh, in this, this scene. Yeah, so. I believe it will be. I yeah. believe it will, it will be here. But So before we get to that, though, let me ask you, John, because you, like me, are a fan of Shovel Knight. Right, yeah. you like those games the, oh, and yeah. the, the subsequent expansions of that. Yep. Is this the direction you want to see Yacht Club go in, or were you I, not disappointed? Because I think this looks great, right? But like, are you happily surprised by this? Do you feel like this has the chance to do the interesting things that that Hollow Knight did? I I think this or, is not Hollow Knight. Excuse me, I don't know why I keep. Oh, it's because it's the Hollower. <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah, it's it's the Knight, it's the Hollower, it's yeah. all that stuff. Um, I I did not expect. Uh, Yacht Club to go this route. Um, I expected them to stick with platformers, mm -hmm. uh, which this kind of is, but I am uh, happily surprised by by the, the route that Mina's taking. Mm -hmm. um, I've, I've really enjoyed my time with it so far. I, I think it's going to be really cool when it when it does come out. Uh, this is very early. It is being kickstarted currently. Mm -hmm. um, so Yacht Club is taking to the the Kickstarter route again, like they did with uh, with Shovel Knight. Mm -hmm. uh, that is funded. <laughs> they have funded it in the first day. It's all stretch goals from here on out, baby. Yeah, uh, I saw a really cool moment on on G four on X Play where they like hit their 100k goal or whatever, and oh, they didn't even awesome. realize it. And yeah, and they got to celebrate that live. So, um, yeah. so okay, so you died. I you're died back in this area. I'm, I'm going back for revenge. <laughs> Correct. You're, I'm boning, boning up. Yep. Uh, so I like that boning up is also her just like researching something. So yeah, right. <laughs> it works on so many different levels. Right, yeah. Um, my question to you, though, so you only have one of those gems left. Yes. What happens when you die and you don't have any more? Then you lose the bones that are out in the world. Okay. That, that you then... had lost before. So you don't have a, a chance to retrieve them. Okay. But do you start then with, or like once you hit that, that next game over screen or whatever? Yeah do you start from the last like lab you were in so you always start from the last checkpoint yeah okay. so it's okay. the last the last uh, under lab that you went to so uh this is showing off the pause screen showing off the different levels for uh your attack defense and sidearm um and some of the items that you have that yellow gem is your bone stone <laughs> um <laughs> which is how you can uh you can stash your bones uh so if you die i believe it doesn't uh it doesn't get wasted. Okay. Um, 
Cool. There, there's I, a machine in your under lab that can uh, that can trans that can translate those from bone to bone stone and vice versa. Cool. Um, no, here, oh. no bones about it. I am excited <laughs> for for what we're seeing here. Yeah. Um, and I was just gonna point out too, like I love that's part of why I love Shovel Knight is Yacht Club's ability to make their pixel art so expressive, and I thought that's a good like seeing in that pause menu her her profile, right? Like it's still there's character to it. It's not just this flat character, right? Like me, you know, yeah. like an interesting character, a cute character that I want to experience more of, you know? Exactly. And there's, yeah, there's, there's all kinds of details. Um, there's a lot of stuff, like even though this is all 8-bit inspired, there's little details in the environment that you can easily miss. Like up there, there's actually a, uh, uh, a wall that you can hit to uh, you know i was wondering <laughs> i was staring at that wall i was like oh yeah. i wanted like, to no, hit it i bet there's yeah. something in there yep. yeah uh maybe you'll see that in the other playthrough who knows oh there you go um and then this this is some some gameplay of uh, a dungeon near the uh the middle of the of the demo the demo's actually pretty long um mm. it it, t it took me about uh how long is that other video? Like forty minutes it was or about so. Thirty. I think you timed out at either like thirty-four or thirty-five. Something okay, like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. so that and that was me knowing what I was doing. Yeah. So, right. Uh, um, for sure. So we've talked. You've talked about the challenge in this game a little yeah. bit here, and, and you know, Yacht Club has. They didn't develop it, but they've published um, Cyber Shadow last yes. year, right? And that was a, a brutally difficult game. Um, right. at, at times, it, it so much so that I had to put it down. <laughs> Um, and you know, shovel shovel knight was challenging, but I wouldn't say it, it was overly difficult. Where it has it, its moments, but it does have yeah. its moments, but it, it, not enough to make me go, you know, no, nah, I'm I'm good, thank you. Where where does Mina fall in these early stages? I, I think it's going to be harder than shovel knight. I didn't play Cyber Shadow, so I don't mm -hmm. I don't have a great frame of reference for it. But like, there are <laughs> there are pretty devious traps in here that will uh uh. That will get you killed if if you're not paying attention um yeah. and like you really do need to master like burrowing underground and and knowing how how far your whip swings and what uh sidearm you have equipped um it, there's there's plenty of places where i just whiffed it completely and just died <laughs> over and over so for sure well, I think that is a fantastic look. And like John alluded to earlier, we do have a no commentary version of his demo. He is a pro Mina player now. Uh, he is a hollower himself. Um, speed run. Yeah, speed John, runner. when when is this game coming? And do we know what platforms or anything like that? I, I, I don't think we know platforms yet. The Kickstarter does say that uh, people will be getting their digital codes December 2023. So this game Ooh. could be a ways out. They don't really have a set release date yet. Yeah, that's a bummer because I know I, if you're anything like me, I've been waiting for the next proper Yacht Club uh, games experience. And, uh, you know, I'm happy we know about it now, but it's going to make the wait even harder, I think. Exactly. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. And and just for context, we're watching the opening cutscene here. Uh, it's very cool. <laughs> had to start with gameplay like Jeff Cork would do. So, um, John, thank you so much, viewers. So thank you so much for watching. Um, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. We've done, like I said, a ton of NGTs this week. Um, and uh, be sure to check them all out because uh, 2022 and 2023 has a lot of good games. So thank Turns you. Out. <laughs> yeah, shocking. Who would have thought? Uh, be good to one another, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.